It's the Wickler coming up at the standstand in the sheepskin nose building, coming up to the eight bill on Travon Barker now. When I was a lad, the only thing you had on daytime TV was horse racing. Was that the sort of pre Blue Peter slot, I think, before you yeah, do right, useful yeah. things with empty fairy liquid bottles? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, what, I mean, is that so? Um, a horse racing commentator is, is perhaps your most profound influence. Uh, Definitely Richard O'Sullivan, yeah. Have you yeah. ever met him? I haven't, no. I know what he looks like. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've mm. seen pictures of him, you know. He looks as you'd expect. He's got the uh, sheepskin jacket, the tatters all checked. Dicky dirt, right? Look, very similar to you. What, your own, yeah. yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it's, it's pretty extraordinary that, um, I mean, there's this revival in poetry at the moment. Unlike you and Linton are probably the two best known uh, examples, you know. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of, of new young poets coming up, like Attila and uh, Seething, Seething Wells, Wells yeah. The little what? brother of my, my words. Mm, all that lot. Yeah. So, I mean, do you think there's like, there is this poetry revival happening? And if so, why? Uh, people have a l more time on their hands. Maybe that's got something to do with it. See, I was told by a geezer I know who used to be a burglar, who is now a milkman, that people read a lot of poetry in the nick, for instance. So enforced idleness might have something to do with it as much as anything else, you know. Mm. You know, people always, you know, people do read a lot of poetry in the nick because it engages your brain mm. and kills, you know what I mean? Kills time. Kills yeah. time, yeah. Mm. It's a good way of engaging yourself, you know. So I, I think that probably has, yeah, yeah. Quite a lot to do with it. Enforced leisure. Do you ever, um, see that you want to get away from I mean most people I think like at, at the old video I've got an impression that people sort of come along to see you to get the laughs you know they, they think your poems are very funny yeah um do you see a time when the serious uh, social content quote unquote takes over from the humor no I wish I could be funny all the time that's fine for me I've got enough on, on the older cats I'm gonna go and meet Lynn tonight because I've met him now. Right. This is a formal interview in here. Right. There he is.